Hello and welcome to uh, Service Major. Gonna look at a couple build orders first, land, second, air, and all of them. And a uh, the last video about build orders I made made some comments about hydros. Probably a little too harsh. I did have a point, but if you get a hydro as close as you have on Certus, you might as well get it. It is a good deal. And uh, here, uh, actually, first take a look at the build order from the factory. Uh, I'm gonna use the exact same build order from first factory put in the exact same spot. I think this is a good spot for it. It will all be three engineer scout engineers and then a bunch of tanks and scouts to protect our engineers in theory here. Uh, but what these engineers will do and what is the sequence of units that the ACU is going to build is going to change from order to order. And in this uh, first order we want to see we are going to go pretty aggressively with the ACU at the hydro. This is probably the quickest way you can get air out uh, without going first air. Uh, without completely killing your eco, you still have a pretty good eco here. So the first engineer, we're actually going to get him to get a whole bunch of those uh, mass extractors. We'll do that instead of the ACU, give the ACU a little more time to get to the hydro. The second engineer is going to get that hydro and the factory. The ACU is almost there. And then the third engineer is actually going to go in the field and grab a couple of mass extractors. This is the order for the second engineer. Get that factory up on the ledge. Of course, you don't want the units staying around. I see you was staying there for a second or two. Not a huge deal, but something to avoid. And uh, actually, that first engineer in the right side has a f uh, attack move uh, right after it finishes it. Uh, it's uh, third mass extractor, and this is the point in this build order where mass is going to go quite low, and there's a danger of stalling. This is where manual reclaim might be good. And if you adapt this build order to other maps, maps that have a lot of early reclaim are really good for this type of build order. You can see that's happening right now. Actually, our reclaim is keeping us out of the red. If we didn't have reclaim, we'd be in a pretty bad stall. Relatively bad. And now we can see here it's uh, 2 minutes 10 seconds. We're nearly done. Yep, about 2 minutes 9 seconds done with the air factory. You can get a scout real quick. And uh, you can start bombing here a little past 2 minutes 30 seconds. So we got the scout out. That's really a very important unit so you can tell exactly what's going on. And the key, key thing about this build, yet another key thing, is that after you're done with that factory, you're using a lot of power on the uh, grading air. And if you start making factories and other PGENs aggressively, which you should, you will power stall. So you got to get an engineer on a power spam near... Uh, as fast as possible, and that's exactly what that first engineer that we built that got those mass extractors that the reclaiming is now going to make a whole bunch of power for us. So that's a basic start. We see here coming up minute three, we already got bombers on the other side ready to do damage. The scout can pick out engineers, it's definitely a good target. So things like that, and uh, we'll move on to the next build order. I'll probably do some other maps in the future. Uh, so this uh, builder actually I really like. I think it's uh, pretty interesting. What we'll do is we'll start exactly like what we did uh, last time. But this time the ACU will not go to the Hydro. The ACU will get two mass extractors this time, which is the standard. Uh, and then get uh, two PGENs and then an air factory. Try to util utilize uh, adjacency as much as we can. Then with this one, once you're finished with it, you actually have a little more power, you have a little more leeway, but you lose a little bit of time on your air. But I think uh, whenever possible, this is probably the most efficient way to go second air. Most balanced way. I think Voodoo, I've seen this, uh, I've seen all these build orders from different people, but I know Voodoo likes something along these lines. No, there's another one I'll show that Voodoo also likes. I know when people are looking for players to look for, build orders definitely Voodoo or Zlo. Two very good players. So the first two engineers in this case are going to go to the Hydro because you want to get that Hydro as fast as possible. If you get, don't get that Hydro by the time the ACU is making that air factory, you could be in a, quite a bit of trouble. So if you go first and third or second and third engineer, you could be in trouble. And of course here the engineers aren't going to make anything after the Hydro. They're going to go 
Well, they gotta make mask tractors, they won't make another factory. Getting that third factory this quick would completely kill you. And now uh, here's the key. And uh, this is completely dependent on how much reclaim you have on this map. On this map, we don't have enough reclaim to uh get that mask extractor. So uh that engineer that came out, the third, is just uh, reclaiming. It's not gonna get that fourth mask extractor. If you were to get that fourth mask extractor, you would absolutely kill your eco. So you gotta wait. See that's this is where patience is important. And even after you finish the hydro, you still gotta wait a little bit till your economy recovers. You can see you got hundred and thirty eight total reclaim and we're only at sixty in the bank. And once we're, we're nearly done with the air factory, we can go ahead, pick up the mask tractor, and uh, probably power is a good idea afterwards. And with this, you can see we're finished uh, about 220, so about 10 seconds we lost. 10 seconds, but notice our power is much, much more healthy. And here, if you have some loose engineers, for example, if we put in a couple more engineers instead of tanks, we're re ready to go making more factories especially if a little more reclaim would be really nice as well and once we get some of those expanding engineers getting mass tractors we are going to have the mass to produce so this is a very strong build order for this map very strong air very good uh, beginnings of a strong economy but of course you might be asking why we go four uh, pgens with AC we can go five get even more power and maybe this way we won't have to sacrifice staring at that uh, mask tractor. And that's definitely possible. You lose a little more time once again on air. You can see we're pushing our air out a little further down the line. But against, depending on who you're playing against, and if you think, for example, you want to play defensive air, you know, whatever, that could be a good thing. Uh, it always takes a little time to get across the map. So if the, your enemy does, say, the previous order, gets uh, really aggressive air and you do this one you still should have enough time to defend especially with a little engine dancing and at the end of the day you're gonna have a much better economy much healthier power then here actually instead of going straight to the hydro we're gonna get that first engineer get a couple of mask tractors for us and the reason we can do that that fifth uh, pigeon makes things uh, a little more safe gives it a little more time so the ACU doesn't start making the air factory that fast. So it's it's really rearranging of all these things as you can tell. The orders and the keys to use up as much of your stuff but don't stall. Stalling is the worst thing because it's an exponential uh, concept. The longer you stall and the harder you stall it doesn't go linearly it goes really bad. It's kinda like a mortgage. So for all the people in debt if you want to understand why you're in debt, play this game and you will learn. Perhaps that's why this game is not uh, promoted, but that's a different story. So here also uh, reclaim is going to be important. You can see the fourth engineer here is just doing some uh, auto reclaim. Still no manual reclaim. Of course ideally we just have a big chunk of rock, say on fins. And fins is a beautiful map for hydro builds, except that that hydro is vulnerable to raids. Uh, but there you got those big chunks of mass that make your life so much easier. I think quite a few good players they do uh, put in second or third air with that hydro with a great economy and get uh, tech to mass, mass extractors, things like that. And now we're seeing we're already at 220 here and we're just halfway through the air factory so we're losing probably another 15 seconds so about 25 extra seconds versus the first build order to get that air factor. Actually we're just finished at yeah, exactly 20 seconds difference. So about 10 second steps which is not surprising. A pigeon takes 12 um, seconds to build. And here this is probably pretty excessive. Now we're, our power is so so good that we probably don't even need to make any for a while but I do it anyway. Uh, we can probably instead of making power right away make factories. Things like that. So this is if you want to go for a really strong economy this is probably the build to do and actually we're wasting power here. Even better instead of making those pigeons either assist the factory uh, the air factory or make some more uh, land factories. And we're well past minute three but we already got a whole bunch of bombers and once again of course tanks and scouts on the different choke points. So now we're gonna do uh, a little variation 
And with this build order, you really got to get the reclaim. It's a little more harder to pull off, but I've seen people do this. This is one I've seen Voodoo do. Something along those lines. And here, reclaim is going to be so important. I'm actually going to do some manual reclaim and actually throw in some manual reclaim with the ACU. Uh, get each one of those lower rocks. It's going to be very important. And we're going to get a factory. So it's going to be a standard uh, two pigeons, three pigeons, two line factories with ACU, plus a little bit of reclaim thrown in. And once again, we're doing the exact same thing as we did before. A bunch of scouts and tanks after first four engineers with a scout. See what happens. Actually, on this uh, map, nice to throw in an art artillery there later on, just in case uh, you needed to break uh, through some stuff on the sieves in the middle. So this first engineer is going to pick up mass extractor. Is going to get the hydro and the air, and then whatever will give him the standard builds. Want to get up on top of that ledge. The second engineer is going to help out with the hydro of course hydro is important and notice here those first two engineers are going to get the hydro and an air factory so we're actually going to get three factories very quickly and you can imagine to do that you need more mass so once again because Sirtis just has all these small rocks we're going to avoid that first uh, mass extractor in order not to stall and we're just going to do some reclamation some manual reclamation keep ourselves from stalling so it's a we, we do lose a little bit of mass for not keeping that mass extractor on for like an extra minute probably about 120 mass but it's really uh, I think it's worth it to get three factories versus that 120 mass which you can get from some rock somewhere in the field later on and there is that we got that air factory which we're producing the ACU still hasn't started the second land but it is nearly there. You can see here we got so much power, so power is definitely not an issue. But uh, we will need as much mass as we can. And notice this is actually pretty quick for that air. It's going to be about 220. So kind of like the second build that we saw. And once we see we have enough uh, reclaim, we can get that mass extractor. Although there I might be uh, jumping the gun there. I just might stall. Should have. Should have kept reclaiming a little bit. So it'll be a few seconds of a pretty bad stall. And this is where those each one of those rocks is worth so much more than just a few bits of mass that it has. It's really worth a lot of time. And in order to stop the stall, we'll, we'll stop making that power. Which we really don't need. Probably a mistake there at the end. Don't need to do that. But we got three factories before minute three. Do whatever the heck we want. We got bombers. And a very strong build, and especially strong when you got a little early reclaim. Notice the ACU is just like a standard uh, no hydro build. Two. So factory, two pigeons, two mass extractors, three pigeons, factory. That's basically the only build order you need to know if you to play this game pretty good. But then besides that, we got two engineers, first two engineers on a mission where they get a mass extractor, hydro, and an air factory. And then uh, for the last build order, this one was sent to me by Napalm. This is the one he uses. It's going to be a variation of the very first one that we saw. He's going to put uh, sure things in slightly different positions. But it will be a little longer, so we'll see how this uh, could progress, how the plan can progress a little further than just the first uh, two, three minutes. So once again, we're seeing... Uh, so variation here, instead of going um, one mass extractor that we saw in the first build order, Nippon was actually going to go two with his ACU. But one thing that he's done well is he left the path to the hydro straight. So minimal movement to the hydro, unlike what I had where the ACU had to move slightly to get the mass extractor in not in the direction of the hydro. So that's, a, that's an improvement in that regard. And of course, a six second improvement in movement of the ACU means you can go ahead and grab another mask tracker. First engineer to the hydro, then second engineer looks like a factory attack move to get some of that reclaim. We'll see if that's necessary or not. And you can see uh, quite a few uh, engineers early on. It looks like it's a total of seven. So three, and then 
two light assault bots and a scout, and then four. So a, a little heavier in engineering than what we've been seeing previously. But of course, there's still a raiding group. Only one scout, which is, which does leave one side open to a raid. But since it's a large map, not that big a deal. And if you only send engineers, say to the top tier expansion, one scout's enough. You see, actually, a second engineer from Napalm has went ahead and picked up mask structures. The third one's going to get the reclaim, and you can see it's actually going to be important. The hydro. It's not nearly complete, so no more power problems. And actually, the reclaim was... You probably could have done this completely without reclaim, but if that engineer went somewhere and started building, then it would have stalled. But there was enough mass without the reclaim to pull this off. So that engineer on a long trek somewhere to a far mass extractor could have probably been an improvement to this build. For example, those three um, mass extractors in the middle close to the sieves, something along those lines. You know, the ACU is actually going to go build that third uh, factory. So, um, so kind of a combination of the first and the fourth builds that we saw. Of course, it takes 30 seconds to get a factory. So, it'll be a, a little later than what we saw in the previous order in terms of getting the factory. But actually, it looks like the third and the fourth are going to be built simultaneously. And some power problems now for Napalm. Of course, this is what we saw from that first build order. Power is an issue. And this is what Napalm is actually going to do. He's going to go from that low power build order into multiple factory construction. Plus, he's got uh, big air construction. And he's got multiple engineers on power. And that's, that's exactly the danger here. He's really killing the economy. And he probably wants to pause his air factory in order not to crash. Actually, it's uh, engineers walking around now, not making power. Once they start making power again, it could be in a bit of trouble, although that worked out quite well for him because his ACU just finished. And that was actually quite nice. I really thought he was going to stall, but those engineers walked at a perfect time, and it, actually Napalm was going to throw more, more engineers in the power spam. But he's really living dangerously with that power. And one thing about his power, though, he does have a radar, which is costing him 20. And now a little bit of stalling. But overall, a really good build. So you can see, besides the first four that we've shown, a very strong build, which is kind of a combination of the two extremes that we saw. It actually worked out quite nice. Of course, those hunters up on the top that went through would cover any expansion to the top base. And if they actually made it through, they're in a good position. I tend to deny some factories. So overall, this is another one to copy. And looks like some engineers on the yeah. So two engineers on the land spam, three engineers on power spam, and somehow that mass is surviving. Is just living on the edge. And now Napalm showing that this is a very critical step in playing. Certus is getting to the middle. Looks like the mass is coming from that engineer up top that just built the radar. Nearly 900 reclaimed so far. It's been working out quite well. And Napalm, even though he's got three engineers in the power spam, his power is just is just barely. And but if you can pull that off, uh, such a huge power spam on Certus, you're going to be in great shape once you get those sieves because that's free mass. That's actually a, a very strong uh, build order there from Nap Napalm. Hopefully, people enjoyed it.